The Girl in the Locked Room by Mary Downing Han. Chapter 8. The Girl. The girl in the locked room looks down from her window and sees a dark-haired girl from the addition digging in the kitchen midden of all places. It's the first time she's gotten a good look at her. If it weren't for her long hair, the girl would mistake her for a boy. She's wearing short pants. Her shirt is shapeless. Something the girl can't read is written on its front. Her feet are bare and dirty. She doesn't know what to make of the girl's appearance. Not even the poorest of girls wears clothes like that, and children don't go barefoot unless they can't afford shoes. Everything in the midden is trash. Yet the dark-haired girl has picked bits of porcelain, medicine bottles, tarnished silver, and broken dishes from the rubbish as if they were valuable. She's even dug up a broken doll, which seems vaguely familiar. Perhaps the doll once belonged to her. Yes, it must have. But surely it was prettier then, not broken and bald as it is now. It distresses her to look at the doll. She turns away. Later, she returns to the window. The dark-haired girl is still there. If she expects to find treasure buried along with the trash, she'll be so sorely disappointed. Indeed, she already looks disappointed. She swats at Natch. She pushes her hair out of her face. She's hot and impatient. But she keeps digging. She finds a group of tiny dolls and lays them beside the ugly doll. The girl's fingers remember how the dog's, dolls feel. Cool, smooth, and hard. They're dirty and chipped now. But she remembers making them talk. What would they say now? Perhaps the little one says, I'm scared. And the big one says, Hush. Go upstairs and lock yourself in the room before the bad man gets you. Suddenly, the dark-haired girl drops the dolls and looks around. Something seems to have frightened her. Did she hear what the dolls said? Fearful of being seen, the girl in the locked room ducks below the window, but slowly raises her head to see what the dark-haired girl does next. She's throwing all the things she found in the hole she dug, even the little dolls. She's finally realized it's trash, nothing but trash. The dark-haired girl looks down and sees a key. She picks it up and turns it slowly, as if she's examining it. The girl crosses her fingers and whispers, Don't throw it away. Keep it. Find the locket fix. The dark-haired girl can't possibly know which lock the key fits, but if she tries the key... In every door, she'll come closer and closer, from the first floor to the second, from the second floor to the third. She can almost hear the girl's footsteps, rather like a story she heard once ago, about a teeny tiny woman who stole a teeny tiny bone. She imagines the girl stopping at her door and poking the key into the lock. She'll jiggle it back and forth, take it out, poke it, at, poke it in again, jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Finally, the door will open and the dark-haired girl will enter the room. It'll be the first time someone has come to that door since the girl was locked in. Everything will change. She doesn't know how she knows this, nor does she know how things will change. Maybe for good, maybe for bad. But how can anything be worse than it already is? She paces around the room. Her feet leave no tracks in the dust. Perhaps she's waited here long enough. Perhaps no one will come for her except for the men. Night after night they'll come, and she'll hide in the wardrobe. Day after day she'll stand at the window and watch the seasons change. Years pass, centuries, and nothing will change. Is this what she wants? The girl tiptoes to the window, taking care to hide in the shadow, she whispers, Keep the key. Find the right door. Find me. Let me out. Below her, almost as if she doesn't notice what she's doing, the girl from the addition drops the key in her pocket and walks out of sight. The girl in the locked room claps her hands soundlessly. Soon the door will open and she will be free. Free to do what? Oh, mercy, she whispers. She has no idea what she'll do when she's free.